Today, let us discuss about one of the most commonly encountered condition, which is patchy hair loss, also known as alopecia or alopecia areata. Hi, this is Dr. Ravli Elamanchili, Chief Dermatologist at Nea Dermatology and Aesthetics. Alopecia areata is usually characterized by patchy hair loss, which can be a coin-shaped patch or irregular-shaped patches. This can involve all the body parts, including your scalp, face or beard hair, or even body hair. Alopecia areata is characterized by few patches of hair loss which can involve particular body part. When it is alopecia totalis, it can involve all of your scalp hair. In alopecia universalis, you can lose all of your body hair. Why does this alopecia areata occur? This is an autoimmune process where your body's immune system starts reacting to your own body cells. This condition can affect anyone including adults and in children. How do we diagnose this condition? This condition is typically characterized by patches of hair loss involving your scalp and beard. Usually people notice this patch only after they have lost at least 20 to 30% of their hair in the involved area. When you visit a qualified dermatologist, they usually make the diagnosis based on the clinical examination. They might also use a dermoscope or a trichoscope to understand the pattern of the disease. And when in doubtful cases, we might also do a skin biopsy for the confirmation of the condition and to understand the progress and severity. Once a diagnosis is made, then we can opt for different treatment options based on the severity of the condition. When it comes to the treatment of alopecia areata, doctors usually consider two key factors. One is to stop the progression of the condition and two is to aim for the regrowth of the lost hair. So when the disease is not rapidly progressing and it's limited to certain areas of your body or scalp or beard, usually the treatment is with some topical medications that is some ointments and creams. And also we can opt for intralesional steroid injections for rapid regrowth in this particular patch. But when the disease is rapidly progressing, we need some oral medications to suppress or to control the disease activity. The choice of oral medications depends upon the age of the patient, the severity of the condition and the results that we are expecting out of it. The medications we use here are usually immunosuppressives, steroids or biologicals and these medications have to be given under caution only after understanding the patient's disease activity and other comorbidities. Though stress, other autoimmune conditions are usually associated with alopecia areata, it is completely unpredictable who can get it and how the disease progresses. We only can see the progression of the disease and plan the treatment accordingly. This patchy hair loss is also associated with other autoimmune conditions like thyroid disease, diabetes and few other conditions. So the doctors usually advise you to get some blood tests to rule out other conditions. Physical and mental stress plays a key role in the progression of the condition and it is one of the most common triggering or aggravating factors. So keep your lifestyle in place and try to eat healthy and avoid smoking and other forms of stress to your body. If you notice any patchy hair loss involving any part of your body, please do not neglect this and visit a qualified dermatologist immediately because this condition can rapidly progress from a single patch to loss of hair all over your body within a span of one week. I'm not trying to scare you, but this condition has to be treated seriously. If you've seen someone with patchy hair loss, please share this video with them. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.